wear the new umbrella. <laughs> it's gonna get you in the back of the head, isn't it? <laughs> My antenna. Oh. Such a tajik. I'm turning into such a freaking dad. Let's get out of this hellhole and get ourselves to Oscar. <laughs> Well, there's no toilet paper around. This is date. Especially with your umbrella. Well, you can't <laughs> miss that, can you? That was Le Studio, Oyo Hotel. I actually was trying to do some yoga in the very tight space that room was in this morning and found a uh, condom packet underneath the bed. Used condom packet. I think we're both glad to, to get out of that place, to be honest. We appear to have picked up quite a lot of stuff. Got my umbrella and a bottle of oil. I picked up a pot of salt from the Dead Sea in Israel from an American guy that we met in Kay's house hostel. We've got some pasta, some onions, green tea, a carrot. A carrot. <laughs> Basically picking up these Western things and holding on to them for dear life. Done this enough, surely I know what I'm doing. <laughs> Back behind suitcase <laughs> zero. <laughs> For the record, I do offer to help Tammy with the bag sometimes. Oh, God, this suitcase. Oh, okay. Okay. All carriage for women only. <laughs> So this journey from Kyoto to Osaka is 540 yen, which is about, about four quid, which is crazy cheap. Or you can get the bullet train, which is about 12 pounds and takes six minutes less. <laughs> it's not really worth it. Uh, this looks like Bangkok. We're back in a real city. That. I'm feeling a lot more at home with my suitcase here. Wait, Backpack wait. two, suitcase one. It's green and they just they just went. And we lost. Very vaguely. What do you think of Oscar? It's cute. It's got a cute front. Oh, connect to the station. <laughs> it turns out we had to catch another train and we've arrived at Namba and it's now a what is it 40 40 minute it's a four hour walk to, uh, <laughs> oh, no. to Kyoto Kyoto <laughs> Kyoto Winding you up. Winding no! You up. The four it's minute walk. Four minute walk. But we've got to come out of the right exit, which we haven't done, so. Is that your piss? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's not that colour. It's also got bits in it, so. Come on. Do. We've got this free sachet from downstairs in the reception. Citric acid orange flavour. So I'm just going to drop it in. Love a good free deal. It's free, I'm on it. How do you open it? Mmm. Wow. That is sour. Mmm. Ooh. Yeah, that is sour, isn't it? Mmm. Very nice. I recommend a bit of citric acid. 
on your travels. Drink citric acid. Well, we can't check into our capsules until 5 pm, isn't it? Hmm. So we're going to go out and explore Osaka after some weird drinks that we found in a vending machine. <laughs> Feel refreshed. Yeah, I feel quite jittery. <laughs> that coffee was <looks> really strong. <laughs> we're going to head out into the streets for a bit until our check in time, and we'll give you a little tour of the capsule hotel when we get back. This is actually only five minutes walk from our capsule hotel. I love his nostrils. Very nice. It's uh, 12 meters tall and seven meters deep inside the mouth. Why did I say it like that? <laughs> the lion's mouth is said to swallow evil spirits and bring good luck. So especially for uh, students um, in their exams or for business matters. Look at this. Wow, it's a big tooth. This is quite, it's incredibly imposing. You certainly get uh, an idea of how powerful this lion is. Not that I've ever been to Vegas, but this looks like Vegas. It's even got a pachinko slot place, which is absolutely massive. I think this is about six lanes of traffic here. Back in the metro. Where are we going, sweetie? We're going to Tenjin Bashi something or other Chome. Tenjin Bashi Tome. Absolutely murdered that. We're headed to the largest shopping street in Japan. straight line that just goes on for infinity. Sushi tray. As well as spanning the distance of nearly three subway stations from one Chomi district to seven Chomi, a lot of the shops are actually individually owned. In fact, it feels very local and we didn't see any tourist shopping when we were there. We stopped this awesome looking deli about 200 meters in and it had a rather large selection of Japanese lunch options. All right, let's go explore more of the shopping street. More shops. More shops. Okay. The one thing I'm looking for on this street is deodorant. I haven't been able to find it anywhere in Japan so far. And some people on forums have said that Japanese people don't use deodorant like we do. So there aren't any uh, Western style deodorants available unless you go to a pharmacy and pay kind of a high price. First of all, let's have a little look. Let's see what we can find. Maybe second roll. Second Yeah. Okay. It's promising. Oh, um, like a roll. And he had to say once. There I was saying Japanese people don't use deodorant. Maybe they do. Yeah. But Japanese people do sweat. Alex loves these. Well, that's been an interesting uh, delve into shopping street life. I think we've probably made it about. 600 meters into it. Next, we're heading to a rather strange cafe, a reptile cafe. I think you can eat reptiles and cuddle reptiles at the same time, which is pretty weird. Let's go. We're at Abisa Cho station now, and it's a nine minute walk from here. We've made it. 
to the rock star cafe. <laughs> Shall I quickly read off the list? Yeah. Contact with snake, lizard, iguana, tortoise, gecko, chameleon, amphibians, and the most dubious other. <laughs> <laughs> How do you find this stuff? <laughs> oh my god, I'm scared. We're inside. It's cute. It's really nice. I feel a bit weird in here, I'm going to be honest. It's quite nervous. I'm hoping he's relaxed, I don't know. I'm just hoping he doesn't move really fast you definitely in any direction. Look less relaxed. Hi. <laughs> oh. Nice scarf. Hello. This is the common Australian carpet python. It's weirdly asleep in a puddle of water. Who are you? slightly more comfortable than here now. Mainly snakes in here to be honest. Yeah. See one gecko. Nice <laughs> snake. Look at gecko action. You gonna hold him? If you like a snake, go for it. Go on. <laughs> that one looks like he really wants to get out. Kind of cute. It doesn't look like he could strangle me. Stop. Hello. Oh no. Don't go in my armpit, please. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, he loves the camera, doesn't he? Play with the camera. I feel like he's tying my hands together. Where's his bum? Where it poops near the end of it. Come to the sun. This is what's happened. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hello. What should we name him? Ramen. Noodle ramen. It does look like a noodle. Oh, hello. So cute, isn't he? So chill. So it looks like sand. So I'm gonna name him Sandy. Oh, it's coming back up. Oh god. Oh god, that tickles so much. Cute. Ah. <laughs> Cute. Thank you for letting us hold you. But we've got another bar to go to. That was cool! <laughs> I'm back into this. Death. Scary lift that looks like a soundproof box. <clears throat> Death lift. That was so cool. I think we fell in love with Ramen and Sandy. I didn't really want to give them back. What a crazy street. I feel like this is the city where everyone takes those photos with all the lights and <laughs> get the impression that it's a city that never sleeps. Yeah, absolutely. I'm absolutely loving this. Uh, it's perhaps something we just didn't experience in Tokyo, which was the nightlife. Um, mm. But this is great. What a great city. 
getting a fantastic first impression. We've had a couple of people that we spoke to before though, that when we mentioned we were going to Oscar, they were like, hmm, they weren't such a fan, and they were Japanese. Definitely getting yeah. the feeling that everyone's a bit more, not aggressive, but a bit more intense here, mm. um, which is fine. <laughs> yeah, so during the day you'd have people sort of walking almost into you and then stopping abruptly and kind of huffing and puffing because you might be in their way and they know where they're going but you don't because you're a tourist. But then mm. this evening we're getting that kind of sensation again but with people hard selling us to their restaurants. So it's like, it's quite an intense city environment. It's the Naples of Japan. So this bar is called Kingu uh, with two U's and it's just around the corner from where we are right now. We've been walking for about 20 minutes from the Reptile Cafe. It's a Victorian horror-themed bar, where, and it's the only place in Oscar where you can get mead, um, and we can also get absinthe there as well. Google Maps says this is the place where Kingu is, and it's on this side of the road as well. It must be one of these. But it says also Tuesday. Does it say we close Tuesday or does it say, we're, sorry we're closed. Tuesday open nine o'clock. Tuesday's today. Mm-hmm. I reckon it'll be open at nine. Okay, maybe we should come back. Hashtag budget travel. So we're having a classic 7-Eleven dinner here. You should try this, it's really weird. It tastes like lavender. This is how we bide our time. <laughs> Watching a motorway and eating creamy pasta from 7-Eleven to this music. Okay, we're back. Is it open? It's not. Oh, that sucks. See you soon, when? Oh. We can try again tomorrow. It's meant to be an edit day tomorrow. Mm. Uh, I think we should try it out tomorrow. Hmm. It looks so cool. Yeah, it does. Yeah. Well, oh. at least we can show you the capsule hotel now. Capsule hotel tour. Separate floors. Love you. Love you too. Wish me luck. <laughs> so as a woman, you have to touch in downstairs and touch in here to say that you're on the second floor. on the third floor, put my bed on the floor.
Okay, so I've almost definitely come to the wrong floor. Oh, I'm on the fourth floor. I press the wrong button. Right, third floor. And I managed to get my bag in there. Broly, a few bag full of onions, and a laptop gear, which is pretty simple. It's a good amount of space, actually. Free earplugs over here. Bit of fabric air freshener. Down there is the washroom. Here's the onsen. And go back up to the fourth floor to check out the actual room. And I like the little bag they give you. That's kind of fun. Oh yeah, the knocker. I didn't really film that, but yeah, mm. what the pajamas and the towel. Pajamas, towel, toothbrush. This has got the dreaded bean pillow though. That's one thing I did notice as I left. I noticed that, but I actually quite like it. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah, because it moulds around your head and neck. It's also a single it's pillow, good. which I'm going to have trouble with. Oh yeah, you like two pillows. And I've got a lot of shoulder <laughs> to deal with. <laughs> What I don't get is this security card. Why they have to know where you are at all times. It's the other Otherwise. way around. It's to stop men going in there. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I think you can open the doors without it. Of course you can. You can't use the lift without it. You can't oh. go to the second floor. Really? Yeah. Oh, I totally didn't get that. <laughs> no, it's very clean, very tidy. Mm. There's quite a few strange men here, I'm not gonna lie. Really? Yeah, it's a bit weird. It's a bit kind of like, I don't know, ghosts in the night. There's yeah. hardly anyone in mine. I think ours is quite full. Mm. Yeah. So we're going to head off to bed now. Oh. Obviously have an onsen, because we missed those from eating. Um, and then slip on the pyjamas that they've given us. Oh, I, yeah, they quite funky. One of them fit me. <laughs> oh, yeah. Japanese people are quite tiny. So. I am not. <laughs> there is a snorer already, oh. so I've got the free earplugs. Have you got earplugs? Mm. Yeah. The girls don't tend to snore. <laughs> they don't. Says you open mouth last night. What? <laughs> <laughs> onsen, 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 onsen. Looking forward to the onsen. We'll try again for the bar tomorrow night. It's going to be a, lot, a very strange end to this video, but hey, mm. that's travelling. You've got to adapt. With that in mind, let's get naked in front of our own gender. <laughs> Night. So since there's no one here, I thought I'd take the opportunity to just show you what nonsense is actually like. Cut trousers. In case we 
Yeah, uh, I can't get back into it. Or into your case? No. But the combination just doesn't work. If you pull it out like that, then it changes the combination. So it's possible to change the combination without unlocking it. It's badly made, it's quite the shit. Yeah, literally everything's gone wrong with the suitcase. <laughs> Wait. You can go and get a change now. <laughs> oh, travel. Edit day today. That's us. Okay, well, it's been a long day editing. Not sure if you can see us, because it's so dark. And we're finally going back to Kingu. We're back outside Kingu. We've got all our stuff with us this time, because uh, we're heading off somewhere else tonight. We'll tell you about that later. So let's just go see if it's open. It's our last chance. There's no close sign on the door. I'm gonna go and try it. Yeah, I'm a bit scared. It's a bit scary. And lots of dolls tied up with red wool string. Is this voodoo? There's a full blown camel vine. So, there's a full blown Oh, wow. Camel. There's also a golden dildo just in the middle. Oh, yeah. I'm really getting to this mead. It's like drinking honey. Mmm, that's really, really good. It's really nice, isn't it? Uh, I didn't know what to say about that place. That was so weird. I actually found it a little bit creepy. You were all right with it, weren't you? Oh, it was great. <laughs> oh, God. I just went in the toilet, though. Like, there's a massive severed head. Obviously, it's fake, but it's just hanging above the toilet bowl. I mean, the drinks were really nice. That mead was really good, wasn't it? Yeah, it was lovely. I absolutely love that place. I think it's maybe more my style than yours, Egg. <laughs> but it was so kind of well thought out, like the, the, all the trinkets and bits and pieces and the obscure things are so cool. And obviously it took a lot of effort to put together and the guy just said he's been there seven years putting it together. It was more or less horror showy than I thought. It's more, it's very comfortable, it's very warm, and uh, yeah, the mead was really good. We've now got to go and catch a, another night bus to, we're not going to tell you. Uh, that's the reveal, we're not going to tell you. So we're really excited about where we're going next. We've actually planned this since before we arrived in Japan, and uh, I can't wait. We've been to Tokyo, so many different districts. We've been to Kyoto, Osaka, Ito, Hakone, uh, Ofuna, and now we're going somewhere completely different. It's down south, it's different, we'll see you on the next vlog.